PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, Austin C here again today. Hey, today I'm going to do a review on the new Cut 50 or 55 plasma cutting machine. That's about 240, 250 bucks. It's 50 bucks dearer than the previous one I did. So what I want to do is just sort of get a, a line in the sand, you know, see if what you get for under 300 bucks. I might buy two or three, or maybe even four different machines under 300 bucks, and we can compare them all and see exactly what you get for your money. I don't think there's going to be much of a difference, but I could be surprised. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And come say good day in the comments below if you want. And let's see what the sucker can cut, eh? Hee <laughs> hee! Now, why I chose this model, guys, is because it comes with a P80 torch. And if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I like to change machine torches for a heavier torch because I like something big that I can get hold of. And this torch has got quite a bit of weight to it. You can also use it as a bit of a hammer. Lucky you're not supposed to, but I do. You know how it is. So I like a torch with a bit of weight. Normally, when you buy a cheap plasma cutter, you get a torch like this, guys. This is a PT31 torch. It's quite light. Um, maximum about 50 amp you can run through this. But this machine comes standard with this torch, which is a P80, and you can run up to 100 amp through it. So I just wanted to see what the difference was between the bigger torch machine and the smaller torch machine. Now if we zoom in here guys, I'll show you what annoys me in these machines. A bit closer, a bit closer, a bit closer Pete. You see that guys? Now that's the earth clamp that comes with a $240 machine. I think it's absolutely yuck. I mean look at it, it's just light, it's crap. And I don't know why they send these machines out with just these crappy earth clamps. Because that's half a battle when you're cutting your steel. If you've got a manky earth, it is not going to cut properly. So anyway, I don't like the earth clamp for a start. But that's the same as the other machine I got as well. The earth clamps are absolutely rubbish. So what I do is just change the earth clamp. Anyway, we'll see how it cuts with the one supplied. I might be surprised, but then again, I might not. Right guys, this machine is rated to cut up to about 10 mil, 12 mil. So we'll start with 3 millimeters here, so it should just blow through that like a hot knife through butter. Yeah! Let's test them out. <laughs> I love new toys. I like this torch, guys. It's nice and heavy. And if I move that out of the way so I don't actually blow a hole in that to start off with, it would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Right here, guys. Let's see what it does, eh? As you can see guys, blows through that no problem whatsoever. So far so good, even with the manky earth clamp. <laughs> as far as the rest of it goes, guys, like I said, the P80 torch, I like this torch, it's really, really heavy. That's why I don't know why they give you a really good torch and a really crappy earth clamp, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, that's just my pet hate. Um, just the normal wiring, same as usual, pilot arc, obviously, pilot arc machine. This machine's got the gauge in the front of it, some of them have a gauge at the back, this one's got the gauge in the front. And this runs up to 55 amp. So if we turn them on, yeah, 28 amp, we can go all the way up to 55 amp, and I'm running it on 240 volts. So I don't think you can actually get 55 amp on 110. I think you can only get about 35 amp. But I could be wrong, but I'm running this one completely on 240 volts. Starts up all right, guys. As you can hear, the fan in the back of it, cool everything off. And also what I like about this, I noticed compared to the other one, so if you turn this off, like so, watch the screen go out. You see we've still got the amperage here. Because what it's doing is dis, 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 uh, dispersing the power. That's a big word, Pete, dispersing. Dispersing the power inside the machine. See that? And when, when it's basically down to zero voltage again, it just clips off the machine here. One of my welders does exactly the same thing, guys. Once you turn it off, it takes about 10 seconds for all the displays and that to shut down. I think it's just a safety thing, which is quite good for a machine this size, I think, anyway. Rightio, guys, next one up is about 5 mil, which is getting like to half of the maximum this can cut. So we'll run that through, see if it actually works. yee -hee. Kick it in the guts, Pete. Yeah! Here we go guys, 
Once again, no big drama, cut through that, no worries at all. Hee <laughs> hee, right, let's get something bigger. Hee ha. Right guys, what we've got now is a thicker bit of plate here. It's about 13 millimeters. And to be fair, this is rated at about 10 or 11 maximum. Uh, you wouldn't want to be cutting this in your workshop anyway, unless you're making bloody battleships or something like this. This is really, really thick. I mean, using something like this is probably more like it in your workshop, even thinner than this. So this would be about the maximum thickness that I would cut with something like this. But it says at a push, it'll cut just a little bit less than this. So let's give it a crack. See if we're going to knock a corner off this off. Yeah. I'll move this earth clamp as close to the work as possible so we can get as much power as possible going through at the end of our bloody torch because this earth clamp is a bit light as far as I'm concerned especially if we're doing this heavy stuff it's alright if we're doing light stuff but if we're trying to do this sort of stuff you might run into a little bit of trouble anyway, let's get into it give it a crack Nigel Yeah. There we go guys, yeah! Shit that's hot Pete, get some gloves. <laughs> there we go guys. See how that's quite thick and that's just using this crappy earth lead. And it still manages to cut it. It actually cut it better than I thought it would. And this is over the limit what this machine should be able to do. So if I change it to a decent earth, I reckon it'll be quite a good little machine actually. And the advantage of this one is, like I keep saying, is the nice heavy torch. Because this is a heavy torch compared to the other ones. Yo, well, this is burning my hands now. <laughs> so this machine actually comes with a guide for the torch as well, guys. A couple of little wheels. To, and it's a standoff guide it's designed to keep the, uh, your torch head off the metal that you're cutting. But I like to do it freehand because I've had a few years experience with it. But if you're not too good at freehand, you can use these wheels that they give you. We'll put it on and we'll see if it actually works. So it's designed to do shapes and that sort of thing. So let's give it a crack, Nigel, and see if it actually works. Pretty simple thing, guys. Just a couple of sets of wheels. You put it over your torch like so and just adjust it up. And what you have to do here is adjust it so that you've got whatever you're cutting. Here, let me grab a piece of steel. So whatever you're cutting guys, you need to adjust it so you've only got about one millimetre gap between the steel and the torch head on your cutting consumables. If you look here guys, this fits quite snugly in the head of this torch here. So if you just get it level, like so, and then there's two up the two on the top, or you may have one on one side and one on the other side, just make sure these are tight and then we'll adjust the depth with the little wheels. like so and see we've got a huge gap in here guys and what we need is about one millimeter so just undo it like so and drop the little wheels down like so so now we're touching on it so we want it just above where we're touching so if we do it up that side it's a bit awkward guys until you get the hang of it to start off with but once you get the hang of it it's fine see that we're just skimming over the top of it so that's where we want it guys so we'll just adjust the other one tighten them up how are we looking now yep see we're just above it guys can you see that so kick them in the guts pete and let's see what it does yeah righto guys we've got our little wheel on let's see what it does eh yeah See that there guys, cutting out all sorts of shapes with that little wheel, it's not too bad actually, works a little bit better than I thought it would. 
So you can use it as a standoff guide and you can also use it as a guide wheel if you're not too steady with your hands. But you know, you get half an hour get the hang of that, you can cut out all sorts of fancy shapes. <laughs> so guys, that basically surprised me a little bit. It will cut what it says it's supposed to cut. I wouldn't cut that thickness all day, but I don't think there's any need to cut that thickness all day. Like I say, unless you're making bloody battleships. I mean, when I first bought a plasma cutter, I thought, oh, it needs to be able to cut that thick. And then you realise you don't cut anything that thick. I was making dumpster bins, and uh, I was only doing like this, three mil stuff, you know, three or four mil. And it will do it all day, every day. So just don't be fooled when you buy a machine that you need to cut something that thick. You might have to cut something that thick once or twice in your bloody lifetime, and that's about it. Unless you're working and making uh, Sherman tanks or something like that. <laughs> anyway, guys. Same as usual, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. This is about a $245 machine. I'll put some links in the description below if you want to go and check it out yourself. I think it's not too bad for the money. The earth is a little bit suspect, but I've had to change the earth on all my machines. But I think once you change the earth, and because it's got the bigger torch, I think it would be quite a good little machine, actually. If you want to see the unboxing video of this machine, see what you actually get in the box, check up here. And if you want to see a $50 cheaper machine, check up there. Anyway guys, same as usual. See ya. Bye. Pete's Tools.com